Hello everyone and welcome to this new lesson for Tenable Security Center course. In this lesson, we'll talk about the backup and store for Tenable Security Center. As you know, it's important uh, in your organization or environment or enterprise companies to have a backup from each solution for any urgent cases that may happen with you. So, Tenable recommend to use the same version. Uh, you need to install the same version for the restoration and the backup and uh, Tenable recommends performing regular backups for the Tenable data and the Tenable configuration uh, once you want to restore a configuration or a backup file the host name must match the old host name we can divide the backup to three types or three ways to, to take a backup. The first one is to take a backup from the uh, opt slash uh, security center directory. Uh, you can take a full backup for the data and the configuration. Uh, the second way is to take a configuration backup from the command line. And the third way is to use automated backup using the remote storage it will take the data and the configuration also so let's start you need to log in to your tenable security center and tap sudo minus s to get root privileges Now we can go to CD Opt Security Center. This is the directory for Tenable Security Center. As you can see here, uh, <coughs> all the folders and configuration files, databases, all, all of the data is here in this directory. So if you want to take a backup, you need to type service security center status, then stop the security center service me go back so is the status as you can see here it's running I will stop it now you need to make sure no running process so you will type pf ps sorry minus f u TNS. If there is any process, you need to kill all minus U TNS. As you can see here, no other process, and you can kill all HTTPD. It's for the uh, uh, service uh, or web service uh, process now type tar minus p z c f c s underscore backup dot tar dot g Z over opt so right now it's taking a backup from your uh, directory full directory it needs time to be completed so wait until it's complete and make sure the session is not uh, closing now the tar uh, finished successfully to make sure that the file is not corrupted so we can use this command
it's examining the files in the uh, compressed file and the file is good and there is no corruption in the file so right now if you issue the following command pwd you are in the op directory type ls minus l you have the backup file here for tenable security center all data it's here it's size like uh, i think so it's one two three one two three it's four gig like it's around five giga so you need to use any ftp or sftp uh, client and copy the file to another location that's very important don't keep the file on the server copy it to another location i will remove it to save space for the restore it's the same as the backup you need to, to install and prepare tenable security center server it will be uh, uh, empty or initial configuration so you need then to go to your new tenable security center stop the service make sure no running uh, process then you need to uncompress the tar file First, you need to copy the file to that server, then uncompress the file. Now, let's talk about backup the configuration. To do a backup configuration, you need to stop the Tenable Security Center service, run this command. It's using a script in the Tenable Security Center, then start the service. let's try to first check the status for terrible security center it's stopped so we need to use this directory support pen and php this is the directory where the configuration backup steps there then opt minus l slash it is opt i don't want to save it on the temp so here's the, the comment Starting up, but it will change application user. Backing up the configuration. There is a permission denied. Let me try temp. It's done. Let's go to temp directory and here is the configuration file. We can copy it or we need to copy it outside this server. Now let's start our security center service. The restore for the configuration is the same. Service security center state stop, then you need to follow this link you need to issue the same here you can you need to know that there is a space after the php then use the restore configuration.php minus l and the directory for the configuration then start the service